Ladies and gentlemen, super welcome to today's video guys, we're doing another review today of yet another underrated game. This one is more like a Doom meets Bullet Hell. Say what? And I can't believe that you haven't played this game yet. Now, let's do this. Today's meat on the grill is no other than Skate. Then when glancing at it at first, you think it is Doom Eternal, but it is not. This is Doom slash Bullet Hell and it is very unique. Let's begin with the story. Skate's story is simple and straightforward. You play as Skate, a silent protagonist stuck in a hellish maze and must fight your way out. Collect runes, uncover secrets and smite all that stands in your way. The Divine Creator will talk to you now and then and all of this is happening due to Skate having to prove his worth. There are a few interesting plot elements present in the game, such as the ability to harness the power of fallen mages. But the story does take a backseat, to let the fast-paced gameplay shine. The game's developers wisely refrain from forcing cutscenes into the action, allowing the game to flow and keeping the story elements more in the background. That said, the environment tells a story of its own, and exploring the maze allows your imagination to fill in its own respective backstory. And in this game, the story is actually just enough to ignite your own imagination. My mind, it started going crazy when playing this game. At one time, I started imagining being locked inside a prison, inside hell, inside the Doom universe. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? It really kept the mind spinning throughout the game. When it comes to Skate's gameplay, it is reminiscent of classic legacy first-person shooter titles such as Doom and Unreal Tournament, but it also adds in bullet hell gameplay and magic, making for an engaging experience. The bullet hell mechanics is present from the early stages of the game, and as you progress, new mechanics are instrumentally introduced to keep things fresh. While some players may not be fans of the bullet hell mechanic, it does add layers to Skate's gameplay loop, and it's never implemented in a way that feels tacky or causes glitches, which can happen in a lot of bullet hell games. When it comes to the use of magic, it is also a bit of a game changer, mixing gunplay with supernatural abilities and opening up countless of combat options. The arsenal of weapons and powers is very varied, and some of the guns introduced throughout Skate is a ton of fun, like the bow blade or hot hatch. And not only are the weapons really fun to use, they look Great, I love the design of them, I just wish that there were more guns in the game, they are few and far in between. And another downside is ammo, you can barely use the new weapons that you find because ammo is so hard to find. The only weapon that you will be using a lot is the starting assault rifle slash rocket launcher. It is a really cool gun, it feels great firing it and it has an awesome alternative fire with rockets, but it does get repetitive using the same gun all the time. You want to switch it up now and then, but you can't because you're out of ammo. Another thing that I have to say is that the core gameplay loop starts feeling repetitive quite fast. The core loop, it won't change one bit. After you played for around 2 hours, you have collected runes, you fought a boss, you found new magics and weapons, and that is the core gameplay loop. So after around 2 hours, you have experienced it. But that said, the game does introduce new enemies and mazes throughout the full game, so it never feels dull, but it does feel repetitive. Ok, I'm adding in a new element for this review, and we will call it level design. At first glance, I was sure that this game had procedurally generated levels, since the levels are essentially mazes, but nope, these are handcrafted, and it shows the level of detail in the environment is really nice, and the overall navigation and placement of everything, it just feels one level higher in quality than what you usually get from procedurally generated levels. Also, mazes might scare some, me included, I hate just looking for the right way for too long, but the mazes are pretty straightforward, and you do have a map to guide you if you get stuck. So A plus for beautifully handcrafted levels with a ton of environmental gore. War. Yes. 
When it comes to the graphics, Skate's graphics are impressive, with a mix of realistic and stylized elements that has been crafted using the Unreal Engine 4, which is a beast of an engine. Even though I don't know anything about game development, I know that that engine can look really good if put into the right hands. The game's hellscape is dark, gritty and full of detail, and the demons are well designed and imposing. The environments, they are varied, and each area of the maze has its own distinct look and feel. The game runs super smooth even with intense action happening on screen, and the overall aesthetic is a perfect mix of classic and modern. I'm feeling more and more that this is a highly underrated fast-paced shooter. What do you think so far? Leave a comment down below, let me know. When it comes to the audio in Skate, it is excellent, with an atmospheric soundtrack that complements the game's hellscape perfectly. The sound effects are visceral and impactful, from the sound of the guns firing to the demon's screeches and growls. The voice acting is very minimal in this game, but what is there is well done, and Skate's silent protagonist status works in the game's favor, allowing players to focus on the action rather than the dialogue. In conclusion guys, Skate is a fantastic game that successfully blends classic and modern first person shooter elements. The gameplay is fast paced and engaging, with new mechanics introduced throughout the game to keep things fresh. But it still gets repetitive. The graphics, they are impressive. The audio is atmospheric and impactful. And the story, while very very simple, provides a solid foundation for the imagination. While some players may not enjoy the bullet hell gameplay, it's well implemented and adds an extra layer of challenge to the game. The game's full price is $23, and in my opinion that's a fair price for the game. But if you can afford it and if this game is for you, only you know. Now, if you're looking for even more awesome shooter games, well, don't miss these.